Thanks, Terry and Aaron. Uh, I did not know that news. I'll have to check my uh, Bobcat email for that. Um, and halfway through the year, wow, I really cannot believe it. Um, crazy. So we'll we'll start this Friday off with some industry news. Uh, first piece: discrimination lawsuit against SNS Activewear to move forward. Following a federal judge's decision to toss out a workplace discrimination lawsuit against SNS Activewear. An appeals court has reversed the ruling and is allowing the suit to proceed. Eight former employees brought the legal action and claim that misogynistic and graphic rap music was allowed to be played in a company's warehouse in Reno, Nevada, creating a hostile work environment and constituting sexual harassment and workplace discrimination. Seven of the plaintiffs are women. The suit was initially dismissed by a district court judge who said the music was offensive to both sexes and couldn't be considered discriminatory. But the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals and in San Francisco overturned the ruling. SNS Activewear was unable to comment extensively on the ongoing litigation, but the company provided the following statement to ASI. We strive to make our workplace both safe and inclusive for all while ensuring our team members feel respected, fulfilled, and motivated. Up next, Missouri garment manufacturer faces lawsuit over breach of contract. Evolution St. Louis, a Missouri garment manufacturer, is being sued by a lender for breaching a contract. The lawsuit claims that Evolution failed to make quarterly interest payments as consented upon in a loan agreement. The lender filed the lawsuit in a Missouri court, seeking a payment of more than $800,000. Evolution CEO John Lewis stated the matter is currently being settled and will be resolved soon. In addition to the lawsuit from the lender, Evolution has also faced a separate lawsuit from DHL Express, claiming they owe more than $13,000. Despite all these legal issues, Lewis says Evolution is focused on expanding its business in various industries, including apparel, automotive, aerospace, footwear, and other technical categories. The company says it's even planning to open additional facilities to support this planned production growth. And our last news item, hashtag SB Takeover Tuesday highlights 20 screen printing shops and counting. Every Tuesday, Screen Printing Magazine highlights a print shop from our most recent issue of the magazine, an active member of the Brain Squad, a Women in Print Award winner, or a host of an upcoming industry event. Viewers get behind the scenes looks into different businesses across the globe, from PSI Screen Printing in Currumbin Waters, Queensland, Australia, to Indigi Merch in Fort Kent, Alberta, Canada, to Squeegee and Ink in Newberry, England, to Maid Laboratory in Fort Worth, Texas. We're off for the 4th of July holiday next week, but you can watch all hashtag SP Takeover Tuesday content in the highlight section of our Instagram profile at Screen Print Mag. And stay tuned for takeovers with Wear Your Spirit Warehouse, T-shirts for Hope, and Stoked on Printing. That's it for me. Have a great show.